hello, like and subscribe if you want to. So the New York Mets have hired former Diamondbacks assistant general manager Jared Porter to be their new general manager. Jared Porter was the scouting direct, the director of scouting with the Red Sox and Cubs, in which he helped win the World Series in 2004, 2007, 2013, and 2016. Obviously helped in two of the longest World Series droughts the, with the Red Sox and Cubs, and 2016 being the longest World Series drought. And MLB Trade Rumors refers to Jared Porter as Theo Epstein's disciple, and obviously has a good resume being a part of those teams that won four World Series. The only question is, how much was he really doing in the front office? Was he really working behind the scenes, or was it really Theo Epstein and Jed Hoyer running the show? But his resume looks good. Obviously, director of scouting with the Red Sox and Cubs was able to evaluate the correct talent as they were able to win the World Series in four different years. And he's going in to be the Mets general manager right after they got Steve Cohen to be their new owner, and they're going to look to spend money. He is going to look to spend money and get players, and he's going to have all the money in the world because Steve Cohen wants to build a winner in New York. Obviously, the Mets have been linked to George Springer, who would immediately serve as one of their best hitters and leadoff man, center fielder. And they've also been linked to Liam Hendricks, who would be an upgrade over Edwin Diaz, who has struggled the past two seasons, and might be able to help him come back into his elite form as a setup man, closing for as the eighth inning guy for Liam Hendricks closing. And they've also been linked to Trevor Bauer, who would immediately come in and be another ace on their staff alongside Jacob deGrom, and eventually when Noah Syndergaard comes back, and if Steven Matz is able to be the player who everyone thought he was going to be as a prospect. And the Mets have already made some signings before they hired Jared Porter. They signed James McCann to a four-year, roughly $40 million deal, which effectively takes them out of the JT Real Muto sweepstakes. James McCann has been stellar for the past two seasons, was the backup to Yasmani Grandal in Chicago this past season with the White Sox, and was the starter in 2019 for the White Sox. He's a upgraded his bat pretty drastically and has become a phenomenal pitch framer and game caller the past two seasons. Cheaper option than Real Muto, save some money, able to spend it elsewhere on, like I said, potentially Springer, Hendricks, or Bauer. They're all going to be commanding large salaries. And the Mets also signed Trevor May to a two-year $15.5 million deal, boosting their bullpen, was effective last year with the... Minnesota Twins, and they're already improving the team before hiring Jared Porter. Their rotation looks better with DeGrom potentially adding Bauer. Their bullpen looks better with Trevor May. Hopefully Edwin Diaz is able to get back into form. And James McCann, immediately another bat in the lineup. Elite, elite catcher, you could say. Above average for sure. And there are definitely some bright times ahead in New York. For the Mets, potentially going to take over the Yankees as the best team in New York. Steve Cohen wants to build a winner. He wants to provide entertainment and happiness for Mets fans. He's a bit, he was a big Mets fan. He's looking to win, and he's looking to win in 2021 in New York. And Jared Porter coming in with his resume is looking to help win too, helping to end another World Series drought. And it helped end the Red Sox. World Series route helping the Cubs World Series route. Are the Mets next? Bright times ahead in New York for the Mets. Mets fans, this is for you. Thank you.